um, the rotations. And you see here um, now many rotations appear and also with different angles. And we can select them by angle from some only the 90 degree um, rotations. And if I select only one here, then uh, this makes a 90 degree rotation here. So, <coughs> like here, one 90 degree, another <coughs> increment of 90 degrees, and so on. I can select uh, 180 degree rotations. selection and deselection effects and let's go again from all yeah, select oh, maybe they're, they're already oh, maybe selecting all orientations would and I can uh, um, take one and look uh, what it is doing. If I click on it, then I would deselect the rest and only see that one. Why not? Uh, but yeah. And only, only this one would become active. And I could uh, study it, look at it in detail but where it's operating. Now, the 120 degree rotations are in the same effect I have to trying to get them back. Here, here they are. Only 120 degree rotations. And they are basically so, um, uh, as you see here, A, B, A, B, C. So that's a rotation uh, and along a space diagonal uh, axis. And here it helps to also use um, also graphic view and look into the direction of this axis here, then you see it really has this uh, uh, 120 degree symmetry here. That, that's really there, um, because you now look exactly along the, the, on the space diagonal axis. So it, it becomes clear in this way. And um, the richest, here you see all the generator expressions. It's a very long list, as you see, and also the XML file, which has them, is therefore correspondi correspondingly long, about 2,000 lines, uh, etc. cetera. Um, and th there are many screws, uh, as you see here. And uh, in, in, in this orthographic projection, it's even better to see than when you, when you don't have uh, the orthographic view, in a sense, here. So if you don't have it, it, it looks are rather cluttered, but also the screws you can uh, select by angle, and 90 degree screws, there aren't too many, so the structure is still uh, easy to see. Uh, 180 degree screws, there are already uh, a lot more. Here I might pick one, and you see it's uh, half translation up the axis, and then a 180 degree rotation around the axis. And most are, if I get them, can, that, yeah, yeah, so 120 degree screws. Why is that? Because if you have you have four space diagonal directions, and then if you apply the uh, three cube edge uh, translations, you can generate uh, very many, and it's then again good to look along the space diagonal view in the uh, direction of, the of a screw axis. So let me select here an orientation of one of these 120 degree screws. Let me pick the one, one, one direction, for example, and then look into the direction exactly. Oh no, sorry. Look into the direction here, and perhaps 
direction here and blend out the elements. And then you see how 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 well arranged uh, they are, and uh, they come about by uh, using the translation. If you understand the interaction of uh, applying. Uh, translations, combining translations with uh, rotations, and if the rotation is not a 180 degree rotation, then the relocation of the rotation axis is not the same like the translation direction which you apply perpendicular to the axis, then you can understand how this pattern uh, comes ab uh, about, and you can, can uh, study it by uh, looking at these generator expressions, which, which you see here, and which correspond uh, to, to using uh, these screws uh, and combining them with further translation. So it's basically this uh, uh, rotation here then combined the rest of all combinations with translations to generate uh, all these uh, screws. So I, I'm soon at the end. Um, in the end we have uh, roto inversions and you see how they are arranged here. Let me go back to the uh, view here. <coughs> so there are uh, roto <coughs> inversions. And you can also animate uh, them and see uh, how they act. And uh, these are 90 degree roto inversions. So um, the point of inversion is always here. And this indicates the 90 degree rotation. So Performing it four times brings back the element to where it was in the beginning. And this lattice, as well as all the other lattices, you can extend if you want. And you can switch back to uh, see all uh, the symmetry elements. And it often becomes too much if, if you uh, see them all. Then you can go back and s select uh, certain elements uh, and so on and, and uh, play with it. Or, or not just play with it. But this paper, which I have mentioned in my literature list, The Hidden Beauty of Gold, because gold is such a lattice, and that paper explains all the details with, with taking nice graphics from the space group visualizer and trying to make an as elementary as possible explanation. So even people who are not well acquainted with uh, geometric algebra Etc. But I'm just interested to understand the, the symmetry of gold. Uh, I recommend <coughs> them to read it. I think it should be good reading. Okay, so I, I come to the end of my presentation. I thank you very much uh, for your attention, and I'm open for questions. set of generators in order to show that at the moment we discard when we compute the symmetry more or less scalar factors like if the square uh, if, if uh, the uh, power of the rotor is minus one we say this is an identity of 630 degree rotation but maybe this sign could be used to express a spin symmetry as well a binary spin symmetry. So I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not yet quite clear what would be the best way. And I also must discuss with Christian what he thinks <coughs> in software he, he can use best. But, but what I think having the, the good uh, geometric expression will also make it easier to, to, to compute it and visualize it. Mm -hmm.